Panama, we hopped on a short flight to Colombia. Our first stop was Cartagena de las Indias on the Caribbean coast. Cartagena is a very colourful city, especially in the neighbourhood of Getsemani. Cartagena nights are very fun, as you can see. We watched street performers in Plaza de la Trinidad and enjoyed probably one too many mojitos. We were only there a short while, but had fun making new friends, such as this lovely lass, Jen, from San Francisco, and trying lots of good traditional food. After Cartagena de las Indias, we travelled south to Medellín. First thing when we arrived, we tried one of the traditional foods, empanadas. But in Colombia, you will find a lot of things are deep fried. We joined a free walking tour in Medellin. It was a great opportunity to learn about the city's history, art, and hear a different perspective about the very sadly turbulent past. You've probably all seen a Netflix show by now, but this city is so much more than its past. There has been a lot of urban redevelopment and social projects in recent years that have transformed the city and made it a place that locals are proud of, not to mention the delicious coffee. We ended the tour in La Plaza de San Antonio with a poignant reminder of past violence in one of Botero's sculptures. However, stood beside it is the same statue, remade and donated by Botero, standing as a symbol of hope and aptly named the Birds of Peace. Medellin also has some fab museums and open spaces such as the Jardín Botanico. We had a lot of fun mooching around Museo La Explora and the Aquarium. After Medellin, it was a long bus ride to Bogota. It was great walking about Candelaria, spotting some really cool graffiti arts. Anna, what is this? This is chicha, fermented drink. I believe made with uh, corn. And uh, in the older days, they would uh, chew the the corn seeds and spit, spit it out, and that would then ferment. We drink it from here, and then it's normally a communal drink. So you would have like a sip, and then you'd pass it like this. You say wasasa. <laughs> we 
We hopped on the funicular train to the top of Montserrat to see the awesome views. We enjoyed observing some unusual pieces of art in the Botero Museum. It was free entry. Whoop, whoop. In case you're wondering, Botero doesn't pay people to be fat. He paints voluminous characters and objects, often for political criticism or humour. The gold museum was fascinating and one of the security guards even knew some Turkish. Haran was very happy.